today is Tuesday morning, uh, August 22nd, and it is exactly 25 days before we leave for the bus trip. Uh, we are going to be building for the next month straight, just about a month straight on the bus, uh, every single day, sun up to sundown. And what we're gonna be doing today, this morning, is we're gonna be assembling our kitchen cabinets. So while Ryan is working on the pieces for the table and the kitchen counter, I am going to start cutting all of the finished, uh, so I'm going to put the outside piece. Let me just, I'm just gonna walk in and show you. This is what I'm talking about. We framed this face, this face, this face, and the top face. And the final face is the front that's gonna connect the walls up to the header that comes all the way down where our LEDs are hidden. Right, so the next step is going to include after I cut all of my window pieces. Um, we did what we call a rough cut, and this is what I would also always recommend when you're cutting pieces. Uh, it's essentially rough cut means that I know one of my dimensions. In this case, I know that every dimension I was cutting was always going to be three inches wide for this piece. So every single one of all the pieces in the entire bus was going to be three inches wide. But that's the trick. Um, so if I cut every piece to the same height, they would probably be mostly wrong as I went to the different parts of the bus and uh, put them in, they would be different heights. So I cut extra and now I'm going to go in, closely measure and then go out with my chop saw and chop off the top and bring it in and each piece will be custom then so I can't mix them up and I'm going to place them in the bus and, uh, and then come back with the screwdriver afterwards and uh, screw them all in. these little spacers um, they're little wafers of wood that you can put into the uh, put them in the space and then when you put the when you put the piece of wood on top it will flatten it out and it won't have any more wiggle Make sure we close the door so the bugs don't get in. Yo, dude, what's up? Huh? Yeah. Yo, dude, what's up? Yeah, I said that when I was filming to be cool. All the kids will think I'm hip with my sweet lingo. So we got the cupboards done, um, or all the pieces for the kitchen cupboards done, and now we just are gonna have to assemble all of them. All right, so these pieces are lined up, and we are going to be pocket hole jigging them. I don't know if that's what you call it, but we're making pocket holes for the screws. So we are gonna put them here, put them there like that, and then we are going to drill in with our special pocket hole driller with the, that, that ring at the, uh, at the end is the depth setter, so you don't drill too far past the wood. And this will eventually be 90 degreeing into another face of wood, another piece of wood, so. So what this clamp does is it holds the overall piece from top to bottom in 90 degrees, um, at least at the top, 
and it holds it in place so Ryan can focus on drilling in this bottom one and not have to have either someone else help him or have himself hold this while screwing this one in. Ta-da! So we got about half the kitchen cabinet done. So we have one of the two sets of drawers and doors. So a door right here to get under the sink, and then there's another door right here that we still have to put on to get in this compartment. So we just finished up the carcass of the kitchen counter. All we have now, we're just waiting on all the hardware and um, hinges and things to come in so we can attach the faces onto the front. And we still have to build the kitchen counter, of course, and put all the sink um, faucet and drain and all that stuff in. So what this kitchen counter is doing is it's um, hiding the wheel well. So the wheel well, you can see, comes underneath the, cat, the kitchen. Um, so this entire thing is like covering this wheel well box right here on this side. And what it does is it gives us a little a little space right here to put like our cleaning stuff and like bottles of things. And then in the back is more like general storage for items that we need to put in there. So these are two doors here. Um, we're probably going to have them swinging like this open into the counter. And then you got the sink here and then the counter comes across, and then this is the mini fridge area, the outlet for the mini fridge, and then the, the counter is actually gonna go waterfall down at a 90 degree edge and come down to the floor. And what that's doing is that's creating like a transition into our couch space, which the couch, so it's almost gonna act as the back of the couch, and then the couch comes forward. The reason we're doing this detail right here, this cutout, is because we got a planter box coming in right there. We're doing that mostly to match with the couch. So right now the kitchen counter is at two foot four inch is instead of a normal standard two foot. So we got two foot of counter and then this four foot or four inch um, planter box. And what the reason we're doing that is because the couch needs to be two foot four inches to be able to slide out to be four foot eight inches. If we kept it to a standard kitchen counter and did the couch at two feet, then we only get like a four foot wide bed. And that's really not wide enough for two people. That extra eight inches is huge in bed size. And then the shower is kind of doing the same thing. It's coming out that same distance to be flush with the kitchen. And what's happening is we got two foot, a two foot wide shower base. So now we have all that extra four inch of room plus the wall system. We have all that extra room to put any kind of plumbing or anything that we need to into the shower area. Thanks for watching that video guys, uh, we hope that you enjoyed. If you have any comments or questions, leave a thing down below. If you like this video, give us a like or feel free to subscribe. And uh, follow us on Instagram at The Voyager Project. See you around next week.